I've had a stressful day today, and I decided the best way to deal with a stressful day is to play a horror game. Because <laughs> you know what? If I'm stressed about this, I'm not stressed about everything else. Uh, this is still Wakes the Deep. I uh, don't know anything about this, except that some people have already told me that it's supposed to be very good. Uh, I know it takes place in an oil rig, believe it or not, because there's one on the fucking screen. But um, aside from that, I can't tell you what is going to happen. Um, I've been warned, everybody, so trigger warning here, there's going to be some Scottish people in this. So if you have trouble understanding Scottish accents, well, good job the subtitles are on. Start new game. Uh, show hints. No. Who needs help? Standards fine. Perfect. Yes. Good. Right. Throw me in. Let's do it. I still can't believe you went. What are you thinking? Going to that place. Wish you hadn't got yourself into this mess, but you did. And you can't run forever. I know you were just trying to do right by me, so I need you to do what's right by us now. Please, Kaz. I am so tired of fighting. I just want it to be over. I want you home. The girls want you home, but... If you don't deal with this, then we are done for good. I love you. But I won't wait forever. Sus. Jesus, Sus. Girls made you a Christmas card. <laughs> I'll, I'll be there in a minute, Trots. Aye, well, don't you wait too long or someone will be up with you. Aye. Yeah, all right. Uh, it's me. Oh, it's so Scottish. I also like Kaz and Sue's. <laughs> like, they can't just both, like, one of them have a name that sounds normal. Are they short for anything or are they literally called Kaz and Sue's? Oh, look, I've got shadow. I've got legs. It's amazing when you've got legs in a game. Look, look how good I walk. Oh, let's do a dance. All right, before we have a look around, I'm going to just, I'm going to apologise in advance. I am absolutely going to do a bad Scottish accent at some point during this. And if anyone's watching who's Scottish and doesn't like it, then I'm sorry, but you can do my accent badly as well. You are welcome to make fun of me. There you go. Right, let's take a look around. Is this the, is this the Christmas uh, card? Sorry, Geralt. Merry Christmas. Well, that's how it's spelled in Scotland. It's looking good already, though, this game. Examine. Ah, this is the letter again. Oh. I still can't believe you. Wait, I'm not doing it. <laughs> no, I've got to embarrass myself just yet. Okay, so we're obviously not on land. Well, I'm guessing we're on the oil rig. So I, I actually don't know. Oh, I can turn the radio on. Well, that's, that's great, isn't it? But his wife's not going to be very pleased with that. Unless that is his wife. Unless, what's she called? Suze. Suze made a full calendar of pictures of herself. Like, you don't look at any other women while you're away. Um, I have a friend who uh, went out to work on repairing wind farms. And the way the job works is you go away for six months, you, you work for ages, and then you have six months off. So I don't know whether it works the same way with oil rigs, where you do like a period of time. <laughs> you do a period of time where you, uh, where you work, and then you have a period of time where you're off. Oh, I'm gonna let my coffee get cold. All right, let's 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 progress through the actual game before I. It's supposed to be a, a scary game. Oh, there's a, there's a dude down there. It's supposed to be a scary game, and I have not even left the first room. Can I go and look around other people's rooms? Join your union. Aye, quite right, Trots. Uh, what? Oh, to the management, dear sirs. North Sea Oil Workers Union, Aberdeen Branch, gives notice under the provisions of the Trade Union and Labour Relations Act 1974 of her intention to take industrial action. This is due to your abject failure to meet with our representative to discuss genuine safety grievances from our members. We urge you to engage us with our... Res Wait, is this meant to be Scottish? We urge you to engage with us and resolve our valid dispute. Ends. Oh, that's... Oh, that is actually the end. <laughs> um... There's not really anything else to look around. Oh, hang on. 
the Glasgow Gazette. Linwood told to, to accent or accept deal or else. <gasps> what if that's a real newspaper from the period of this game took place in? Uh, night shift. Oh, he must be asleep. Does it say night shift and day shift, or does it just say night shift on the ones who are supposed to be? Yeah, I'm guessing they put night shift there so you know not to wake. Wake up! Wake up, Kelly Douglas. Who's in this one? Not allowed on that one either. See, I've been playing so much of the Silent Hill remake recently that I see this. Even though this is clearly not a map of the area, I see this and I'm like, ooh, a map, let's pick it up. Yuki, where do you go? Oh. Stay in this place. Oh, disgusting. Disgusting! And it was one of you. There's nothing to interact with in this room. Oh, I'm going to enjoy it now because the game's going to gonna shit me up later. Davy must have gone back on shore last night. Oh, Davy. D Davy Henderson. Just empty cigarette. Could have at least. There's a bin right there, you lazy fuck. Uh, <laughs> can you tell I've had a stressful day? <laughs> Just, uh, that ate me. Oh, fine, don't let me in. All right, Cavs. I'm all right. <laughs> what are you doing up there? Pipes leaking. If it's not one thing, it's the other. See this old rig? It's a pile of shite. It's falling apart. <laughs> We've only just started drilling. Fucking Cadal. And fucking Rennick cutting corners. Aye. Speaking of, you are in the shite, wee man. Rennick got a letter this morning from the mainland and he's been up to a high dough ever since. Heard he's done in for yet? Well, that's just brilliant. Christ, I need a smoke. Can't find my lighter anywhere. Take mine. I don't need it anymore. Honestly. You're a fucking lifesaver. I'm going to get breakfast. Alright. I'll see you for darts tonight. We'll put a wee picture of Rennick up on the board for you. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a plan. See ya. Oh, I, I love that they do have the Scottish phrases in there, but then they have in the subtitles it's got what is essentially the translation for people who don't know what they are. I, I guess, I mean, it obviously it's kind of necessary because if you play this game outside of Scotland, you're not going to know what they're talking about, but I uh, I talked to her again. No. <laughs> hey, look at these sinks. Look at these lockers. Oh, he's having a fucking shower. Oh, no. Nudity warning, everyone. Oh, let's let's go and have a look. Can I have a shower? Oh, there's just a whirlway way through here. Let's talk to him. <laughs> what are you doing, Kaz? Get the fuck away from me. <laughs> Uh, can I go through the vent? Not yet. Maybe later. Uh, which way am I supposed to go? Because I want to go the opposite way. Can't go in Grant's room. Gibson. Oh, well, it's decorated. Cozy. It's decorated for Christmas. Da -da 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 Same calendar though. Why he's got? He's got a picture of my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Why are the two bunks when they got one name? Oh, hang on. Grant and uh, Gibson and Dobby. I guess that you can either share a room with someone or have your own, maybe. Cranstoon Ludon. I hope these names are like the names of developers and stuff. Uh, cabins, roof access. What is this door? Let me in. Oh, oh exit. <laughs> Um, that's the bathroom, so this is the the way. I'm not going to comment on this room. Wait, it's a fucking shithole. Doesn't he surprise me? Prick. Ah. Uh, whose room is this? Who, who are we not liking? Adair. Shit name. What a loser. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to push your door load so the hinges get even squeakier. And every time you go to bed, it's all squeaky. Yeah, fuck you. Fuck you, Adair. Look, that, that's hanging off because nobody wants to be in the same room as Adair. Douchebag. Oh, other side of here. Can I... Can I let, let me in! No invisible barrier! It's the scariest thing in these games. Oh, 
get to look outside. It's so rainy. Oh, I actually do have a map. It is very Silent Hill. I mean, obviously, it's a map. Maps are maps. But, I mean, I've just been playing Silent Hill, so it reminds me. Okie dokie. So, I've just investigated what I imagine is cruise quarters. Oh, there's two quarter cruise quarters. And then there's obviously stairs upstairs. This is the cabin floor. Oh, the duty officer is in the far corner. First aid, lifeboat. So there's a first aid right here. You fucking liars! Look! Me, first aid. Disgraceful. Oh, I can't go this way. Oh, maybe I can. <laughs> in, in other video games, this would be an obstruction, but no... Kaz is just like, hey, fuck you, you bags. <laughs> Guess we're going downstairs. <laughs> Press again to receive a hint. No. No, I don't need a hint. Oh, was that, which button was that that said for hint? I don't want to press it by accident. I don't need help. Talk to Roy. Where the fuck is it? Oh, yeah. I guess he's down there. That's the canteen. What's this way, though? If I don't want to talk to Roy. It's quite eerie, even though we're not in that guess and not in the scary part yet. Darts tournament. Where did I go out? Oh, oh, I lost to Finlay in the semi final. Can I have a go now, though? Can I practice? They put loads of mini games in. Have a go. Oh, what's this called? I've played it. It's got a name. Obviously. <laughs> It's, it's, it's some form of billiards, I think. And I can't remember how it works. But I definitely played it. Somebody will tell me. Open. This is where you can get stuck. Is it perchance in here? <laughs> is, it, is it here? Is it here? Is this where you can get stuck? Is it this gap here? So I've been told by somebody in my chat who has played this game that there is apparently a place in the in the game, in this room, where you can get stuck. And apparently it's between two chairs, and I'm curious. I'm curious if it's, if it's between these two chairs. It's these two chairs. Shall we see? I will escape. I will prove my worth. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> My hubris! <laughs> Kaz is screaming no! I mean, you, you might say this is no one's fault but my own. See, the, the thing is, what I want to do is I want to get out of here and Jesus prove... <laughs> prove that I'm, I'm better than you, Shadow. <laughs> oh, 360 escape! <laughs> How long am I going to try this before I give up and restart? Oh, oh, oh! Ah, fuck you, Shadow! <laughs> That's made my day instantly better. Yes, I am the legend. Oh, here's to me. Right, <laughs> shall we play the rest of the game? Uh, what's this? Uh, Friday Jukebox. Oh, recommendations. Anything like. I mean, this is the 70s, isn't it? So I might not even know half of these. Oh, I, I think I'd know them if I heard them. And then we've got random decorations. So is it... It's Christmas Day, I'm guessing, then. Uh, it looks like it, yeah. It's circled. Because um, he said, Merry fucking Christmas. So, I'm guessing they had, like, a recent party or something to celebrate. Why do they have a TV and phones and radios and stuff when they can't pick up signals? It's not like this place moves, does it? Oh, is there anything in the fridge? Ugh. Imagine if I get stuck in here now. Can't play darts. Uh, I'm gonna guess this door's locked, because otherwise, yeah, there we go. Right, let's actually go and do part of the story. Oh, before we go, can we get on the deck? No. What? There's boxes in the way. Oh, I can look at that, though. I'm obviously meant to go there later, because there's interactables. 
We're out of here, you prick. I don't want to talk to you. I'll get some food. You all right, Roy? Oh, that is Roy. Right. <laughs> I do. McClary, to my office. That means no, not as soon as you're ready. No. Ah, the sweet sound of Davy Rennick. You think it's the polis? Can't be surprised, Kaz. Have you heard from Suze? She's talking about divorce. Oh, I'm sorry, Kaz. She'll come around. Not if I get the jail, she won't. Well, maybe you could have considered that while you were battering Billy Chamberlain's head in. Cunt slagged off, Suze. He had it coming. And there he is. Floats like a butterfly, stings like a bee, and swears like the devil himself. Listen, mate. Even if it is the police, maybe it's best to just go back and face it. Yeah? Ugh, I don't know, Roy. I'm fucking scun up with the whole thing. The Lord loves you, mate, no matter what. And I'm pretty sure Sue's does too. That's all clear for you now, Roy. Lovely job, thanks, Dobby. Oh, Trot says he's left your insulin in your cabin. Oh, bless his little communist socks. Muchly appreciated. Ta. Remember, life is like football. Kick it. It's not over until the final whistle. Oh. Aye, <laughs> you're a Barnsley fan, so you're pretty much fucked from the off, right? Oh, <laughs> I do will see you for that McCleary. Off you trot, lad, before his nibs blows a gasket. I like that. So, I'm guessing that we are currently hiding on the oil rig. Because <laughs> back up, we beat the shit out of someone who, who shit-talked our missus. It's nice getting a game that feels British. People slagging off each other and talking about football. How you doing, boys? No bad, Kaz. Raf's here's a bit shaky, though. Gonna be the lad's first solo dive this morning. Oh. Is that right? Ah, you'll be all right, pal. Especially with the big man here looking out for you. Have you done it before? Christ, no. I'll <laughs> stick to the lecky, thanks. No great in tight spaces, and it's blowing a gale out there. Really filling the lad with confidence there, Kaz. Ah, sorry, wee man. Don't worry about it. Brody's got you. I guess we're an electrical engineer. Uh, I'm, I'm, th I'm thinking we're the one who got called to the, uh, either whoever had a fucking announcement for us, right? <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna mull around. Hopefully, you get a shit talk if you're late. Beans and toast. Classic staple of British culture. I'm gonna talk to you as well. Enjoying your last. Oh, it's the knobhead. What's that supposed to mean? You've been a naughty boy, from what I've heard. Ah, give peace. You're not exactly an angel yourself, I dare. I'll be fine. Well, you'll not be missed. You wouldn't know a day's graft if it slapped you in the face. <laughs> I'd like to see you try and do my job. You wouldn't know a spark plug from a fucking hairdryer. <laughs> <laughs> Watch your mouth, McCleary. Hopefully at some point we get to kick this guy's ass. Watch your fucking mouth, McLeary. Yeah, fuck yourself. I talk to these lads. Doesn't look like it. Oh, the breakfast looks tasty, though. Yeah, I'm going to get called away. I talk to these guys first. Oh, God, why do I sprint weirdly? Oh, the sprint feels really weird. <laughs> like his legs are floppy. <laughs> look. There's no escaping. There's going to be a dozen mayor rigs up here by the end of next year because these pricks in Westminster want their grubby wee hands on Scotland's oh, oil. Christ, none of this again. The bear is already down to the bare bones. And Cadal are just going to make more cuts to get other rigs on the go. If we don't take industrial action soon, oh, this place... Oh, come on! If we don't take industrial action soon, this place will be even more of a death trap than it already is. He's got a point, though, Gibble. We're down to a skeleton crew in the pontoons, and it's ropey as fuck down there. <laughs> what does of the world unite? What do you think, Kaz? <sighs> I don't know. Just here it fix the lecky. <laughs> what do you think? Loves his fucking the lecky, doesn't he? If this place falls apart. That's cool, you numpty. <laughs> <laughs> I like that they've all got personalities. It makes the place feel really fleshed out. I, I had no idea what to expect coming into this at all, because I do not know anything about it, aside from that it's a horror game on an oil rig. So, I hope that we get to experience more of the characters throughout it, as whatever happens, happens. Man, I hope there's some leftovers. Christmas Day menu. Cullen skink and scotch broth. Roast turkey and haggis. Neeps and tatties, Brussels sprouts, carrots, pigs and blankets, black pot, gravy, bread sauce, pudding, 
Christmas pudding, brandy sauce, Cranachan, and Perkins. I guess it's pronounced like that, by the way. And if I'm wrong, I'll be really annoyed. I write. So I, when I was young, I, uh, I had one of my best friends, a Scottish guy. And uh, he and I, we went on a holiday to see his family up in Scotland. And when we were up there, he was giving me this big lecture on how you have to say stuff. He's like, if you say it wrong, you'll get beaten up. And uh, the place that we were staying had this river that ran around it. And he was like, it's not a river and it's not it's not a loch. It's a loch. A lochen, he said. You can't say it's not. It's not. He goes, not lochen, lochen. And he said, if you pronounce it wrong, you get beat up. So like, I, 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 obviously I genuinely believe this. I was scared. So every single time anything happened, I was like, oh, no, I've got to make sure I pronounce it correctly. I've got to make sure I say lochen. Otherwise, I get beaten up. So if that turns out to be Cranachan, I'm going to be annoyed. So I'm trying. I'm trying here, Scottish people. I'm trying. Where am I going? Some dickhead's office. Wait, where do these boxes go? Supernatural shit's already going down. Unless, unless this guy didn't want to be disturbed so much that he blocked the door off with boxes. Okay, we can take a look at this floor here. So, would be a crew lounge is where we got stuck. Uh, the jury office is over there. Lockers. Can oh no! Yeah, yeah, can't see. So we're currently. We'll look around. We'll we'll, we'll figure it out. What are you? Home sweet home. Oh, East it. All right. So, Derek. Lifeboats. I mean, I imagine this will all become a bit more important later on. I don't need to know. All I do is f is fix the licky. <laughs> I've got nothing else to do. That's just. An oh wait, hang on. Is this the kitchen? Oh, let's raid the supplies. Oh. Hmm. That's cool. Look at that. It actually looks like boiling water. I'm guessing it's an animated texture. It looks like two textures, one underneath the other. I had to guess. Fine. I, I'd love to learn more about um, game making. I did a, a course years ago where I learned the basics of it, but... You're not really chopping that very well, mate. You're just stabbing it. Well, I'll leave you to it. Enjoy your stab. Stab. And then... Oh, I don't like the way he runs. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Can I go? Oh, I get to go outside. It's giving me a, it's giving me a tour of the, the area before we start. Oh, I get to go outside and explore. There's a first aid thing. Must have to wear a hard hat to go outside. Oh. This is awesome. Let's see what the score is. Thing about these kind of games is, it's built like the, the whole game is going to take place in this one location. So they only need to make everything once and then change it as it goes on. But it feels so... It just it works so well. It's a, such a great way of having a contained game. But then making it feel so like alive and real. If that makes if that makes sense. Or it doesn't, I'm just rambling. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> he runs like he's got a sore ankle. That's how I run when I've twisted my ankle. Oh. Alright to get by, pal. Sorry. You have to go around, Kaz. What? Why? Just stop doing that and I'll hop over. Was it health and safety? It's fucking 70s. I can jump over this and climb down. Who's yelling? Oh, down there. <laughs> we don't need to remember everyone's names. Uh, where's the ladder? Here. So hold and then I'm down. Sweet. Oh, just the <laughs> I really don't like the way he sprints. And I don't know why. It just really bugs me. Look, uh, uh, uh. he doesn't even move that much faster. Oh. No, man. It didn't let me pass. It's here. Uh, 
I'll spend my way through. Oh, and here's a map of this area. I it it definitely feels like this whole place is gonna get like overrun or messed up or whatever. Various doors and things are gonna be locked off and it's gonna be the whole game's gonna be working your way through and I maybe even like finding people or rescuing people. And that's why it's giving us all the maps and showing us where everything is and letting us walk through it and meet everybody. So when everything gets fucked up, we now got a good lay of the land and we got a good lay of the people. Which is a very good way of starting a game like this. It introduces you to the environment and the world. Um Derek in massive letters. I guess maybe Derek, if he's in charge, he goes like under the communications tower or is he the big tower so that he's got access to the outside world. I'm obviously meant to go that way, which means I'm going to go this way. Oh. Uh. Let me jump over. <laughs> Let me go for a swim. What's up here? Gotta get a good look around. You never know, I might find a secret. You gotta work here. <laughs> My clerk doesn't sound like a real Scottish person. He might be. He might all be. What, what can I interact with? Oh, the dog. I'd be curious to know how many of the voice actors are actually Scottish. I bet a Scottish person would be able to tell. An actual Scottish person would be like, that's not me. Need a hand there, fellas. A clearing. No. I could scale find a hero by myself. <laughs> no, we're all right. Cheers, though. Fair enough. You want to transfer here, McCleary? You'd give me less lip. No. He loves it. McCleary, my office. I don't make me ask again. In a better mood today, is he? It'll be all right, guys. You get used to it. We all get turned. Try not to punch him. Ah, <laughs> no promises. His office is fucking miles away. Oh, he's there. He's fair again. I can see from here. Bro crew will love that. Renick will love it even more. You're telling him. I told him last time. This one's all yours. <sighs> Hey, cars, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> That's one thing that I think games need more of. Kyra does comment on you doing weird shit. Oh, alright, lads. Alright. Let me explore it. Am I supposed to be here? I feel like I'm not supposed to be here. I can go where I want. Stay on the path, mate. A cargo hoist will crush you if you get close. Will it? Oh no, I am meant to be here. McLean it! Jesus, Scooby! Give me a heart attack. Oh, sorry, mate. Can I ask a wee favour? Whether you need Scoob. Oh, could you do me a quick fix on the crew lift fuse box while you're down there? I need bother. Oh, you're a lifesaver, mate. And don't let the big man get you down, oh, alright? Thanks, pal. Oh, Cass can't run for shit, but he can catch like a fucking legend. I, I, I think maybe I was meant to go up those steps down and across around. So. Oh, shut up, you knobhead. S to turn off. Oh. <laughs> wow. Well, it's good you're unqualified for this job, isn't it? C2 crew lift. This lift, max capacity, 2,700 pounds or 15 persons. Helipad, installation manager. Admin drill ops, admin offices, upper deck, lower deck. It's the perfect opportunity for something I do every time I'm in an elevator in a game. Hey, the guy who stopped my stealth cam over in there with you. <laughs> every time. I can't help it. I just can't resist. Do I need to go to the right floor? Am I supposed to know which floor I'm going to? Uh, is it admin offices? Uh, maybe it'll just go to where I'm supposed to go. I'm gonna, I think it does.
Oh, I guess it's there. I'm not going to like this person, am I? Unless, unless, he acts like a real knobhead with everybody, but he secretly loves me and we're going to get in there. And he'll be like, oh, Kaz, oh, I'm glad you're here. And then we're going to, like, make out. I feel like the scariest part of this game so far is going to be going into the installation manager's office. I'm ready for you. Where are you? <laughs> How long do they have to stand here? And he's going to be like, McGreary, whatever my name is. I won't ask you again. Where are you? I'm just going to watch him. Hello there. I am the creature you should be afraid of. <laughs> Well, you'll be fucking go. Cool. My thoughts exactly. Enter. Ah, Mr. McQuarrie. So glad you could join me and sorry to have got you out of bed. Right, mate, don't Shut worry. The door and have a seat. No, I'm fine, Stan. Sit your ass in that chair, you fucking liability. But I I run a tight ship. Do you understand me? A tight ship. Technically, it's no shit. Shut your gub, you Ned prick! I am sick, sick to fucking bookin' of you wee gobshites messing with my operation. That chef might be a mate of yours, but he does not run things around here. I do. Do you understand me? All right, why don't you just get on with it? Don't you answer me back! You might be the height of shite on shore, McQuarrie, but out here, I am the fucking king. Do you understand me? You bring the polis to my door, to my rig. Uh, I, I can sort this, right? I just need time. Shut it, you clatty gobshite. I haven't got here as a man who can make a more positive contribution to this operation than you. Why do they have to Shut translate it. gobshite? I'm in a meeting. What? Fuck's sake, Gibble, I don't care. We're on a schedule. It's a fucking drill. You've got a fucking drill, so drill through it. Yeah, well, Roper's a whiny old fud. He's got a problem with everything. I don't care if it feels half. Just fucking do it! Or I'll come down there myself! Is that uh, trouble with the missus? You're fired. Oh! You hear me? Fired. Uh, come on, man. It's only a wee bit of trouble with the polish. I'm good with the lecky. <laughs> I keep things running. You said it yourself. Ouch! Get off my rig! Happy New Year to you too, you cunt. <laughs> oh, what a prick. I mean, I get his stance. You're bringing, tr you bring, you bringing trouble to his door, but he's a bit of a bell end about it. Uh, but I like it here. How nice it is. Well, I mean, it's just a big pile of scrap metal in a fucking rainstorm in the ocean, but you know. I'm, I'm quite partial. I drop off. <laughs> Let me. Yeah. Oh, I should be able to jump up here, right? Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> if I hurt my leg, it can't send me home. I've got to stay in hospital bay for a week, right? Oh, but. Oh, but I'm good with Lakey! Am I meant to be going to the helipad? Oh, I guess I can't because the ladder's in the way. That in the way is, I'm not there. <gasps> Why can't I go down the way I came? Oh, because it's maybe go down a different ladder, I see. The ladder staircase. So I have to go a different way around. So, from what they were saying, it sounds like they've hit something and drill it. And that guy has obviously been like, Just fuck and drill through it! And it's going to turn out to be... No more running for you guys. It's going to turn out to be that I'm going to be breaking into some kind of other world. With Lovecraftian monstrosities. Oh, I am going to the helipad, aren't I? Can I fly a helicopter? Who's taking me out? Arrivals. I am a departure, I'm afraid. Oh. Jesus, Gregor! Gregor! Get away Fuck. from the end! Gaz! Gaz! Get back, man! Gaz! Help me! Gaz! Don't let me die, man! Please! I don't want to die! I don't want to die! 
Just hang on! Fuck! 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 <laughs> Christ, but you're a right pair. Two bars and a ball bag. Now listen, Pat. I promise I'll take care of him. I had a word with our Kieran, you remember him? He knows Billy Chamberlain from way back. Owes me a favor. Reckons you can sweeten Billy up a bit. Come on. Have I ever let you down? Roy, you lost the cake at the wedding. N now then, now then, that, that wasn't my fault. You left it on a bench at Argyle Street. Aye, you were that bloated you didn't even remember baking the cunt. Oh, my children, that was before the light of the Lord came to me. Here we fucking go. Uh, and you, Mr. McCleary, you can fuss and cuss all you like. But perhaps if you went to the Saracens a little less and the Tabernacle a little more, then perhaps you'd not be in this pickle, eh? Don't, don't look at me. You're the one who decided to spend the next four months trapped on our egg with this bampot. Susan, I promise you, I promise you, we will get this straightened out. I will. You'd better. Guys! Christ! He's gone cold! Shit! Guys! Get his leg! We can't leave him out here! Move! Fuck! Cass! I think he's dead! <laughs> We've got you, man, alright? We've got you! He's breathing, thank Christ! Cass! Come on! Wake up, Cass! Why is he not waking up? Can you hear me? Is he gonna die, Brody? <laughs> Cass! <laughs> That's the end of the game. Credits roll. Kaz is dead. Good experience. Honestly, it was alright. Not really scary, though. Oh. I guess I've been stuck next to a heater to warm up. Am I in, like, the engine room or something? No, just randomly in a side room. Maybe they put you in a small room and then put a heater in it so the entire room gets super warm. Then again... I feel like this is a bad place to put you when it's full of propane. <laughs> what actually happened? Because there was like, it sounded like there was an explosion. And then obviously one of the guys fell off and then I fell off. Was it an explosion or was it like the whole rig shook because we hit something when we were drilling? That's my guess. That's probably what it was. And we're just, we were the ones who happened to be on the top in the worst conditions. I guess we'll go out and see what's going on. We know the drill. In fact, you could say we're a well-oiled machine in every sense. Fuck off. Stop making puns. I've got the force. Da, 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 da. Guys, I need your help here. What am I doing? Help Brody with a dive bell. Oh, there's someone in there. Can I grab it? I grab it. Oh, shit. <laughs> Goodbye, Wuss. <laughs> They've immediately just rescued him. They've just rescued him, and he just falls straight back into the water. Yeah, let's go. Guys, <gasps> yes. Oh, let's try that again. Don't worry, I will help you in a normal way. What can I do? McLeary! Thank Christ! You're right being up on your feet! My heat's killing me, but. Aye, aye, I think so. You got me out! Did you get Gregor? I got you, aye. I couldn't find Gregor. Fuck. Oh, no. Sorry, Cass. Jesus. He's not the only one we lost. Oh, no, no! Rass is still in there! Why aren't these working? Cass! I need you to help me. Cass! Just what? tell me what to do. Right. All right. What, what do you need? The cable's stuck. Go down and release the main brake. Then come back up and raise the bell. If you can get it to my level, I think I can get him out. Aye. Raps, it's all right. We're getting you out. We'll be two minutes. Stood here on a fucking chat while the guy's dangling on a rope. Uh, 
Right. Oh. In the event of power failure or winch snagging, the winch brake will engage. It must be disengaged after power is stored or obstruction removed. So disengage it at a lower level. Operate it on the upper level. Right, so disengage. That's it! Come back and winch up the building! Yep, I'm on it, bro! I can save you! Ah! What's going on, Brody? What happened? Don't know. The drill hit something. An air pocket or gas explosion, nobody knows. Monsters. Whatever it was, it was big. Monsters. You were lucky, trust me. <laughs> Douglas is trying to find out Mayor. Like if the bear is even safe now. What's wrong with Raps? I don't know, alright. Decompression shouldn't be this bad. Uh, he saw something. That's what happened. I said I'd look after him. He saw I something that us. made him go mad. Brody, I'm gonna get you out. Uh, is there anything mayor I can do? No, I'll get him. We need to know what's going on up top. You'll need to go through engineering. The way up is blocked from here. Where's engineering for here? I've never been doing this end before. The only way you'll get there is to go under the rig. Should be a clearer path down there. All right. I'll head down now. Oh. <laughs> under the rig? I'm going to guess that it means like a passageway beneath rather than literally in the water. Yeah, I think there's something in like Cthulian lore, whatever it's called, Christ. where because when you look upon these things, entering the underrig, if you see them because they're so unnatural and in, in, what's the word I'm looking for? Unimaginable. That's the word, right? That you just go insane. Uh, leg A, leg B, leg C, and leg D. Oh, I like that the woman need to as a as a perfect little text on it to tell me. The where am I? I'm on leg D. Okay, so I just need to go across and I can get straight to leg C, right? Oh, of course. Oh, I have to learn to jump. Well, this place is falling apart. I hope it wasn't like this beforehand. <gasps> Should be doing this after a head injury. <gasps> I don't know if he had a head injury, he just said his head hurts. Yep, I don't want to be down here. Oh, I guess I've got to make my way to the other side. Fuck. What the fuck? I, I can hear. What are you doing? Then you get close to that. Come back and see. I want to look. I want to look. Jesus. What is this stuff? My eyes are glazing over if I keep looking. Do I get more mad? Do I go more insane? Oh. <clears throat> I'll carry on. <laughs> Unlock, yes. And that is what unlocking is. Should really say break load. No! Uh, this is already treacherous. This guy was just about to go home to face the police. And now look what he's dealing with. Jesus. <laughs> Hold to recover. Oh, no! Oh, <laughs> it's holding the wrong thing! <laughs> I nearly fell off then. I'm not really sure what I'm looking at. Obviously, this is the drill. But have they tried to lift it up? And something's on it. Don't ask questions. Just do what you're supposed to. Taught. There we go. And then pull the lever, crunk.
I just want to look at it. I want to look at it. So mesmerize. Oh, I'll stop. Oh, I've got to shimmy across this. Shite! Fucking see again. <laughs> well, the third time. Come on, make a comment about this shit. Ah. Oh. I I don't get paid enough for this shit. <laughs> Where where's the fucking jumper? Uh, right, let's go with these floppy sprint. <laughs> Was I meant to do something? <laughs> Was I meant to do something there? <laughs> Was I too busy looking at chat? <laughs> oh, shite! <laughs> yes, you fucking are. Alright, let's have a go at this again. Let's get some squats in. Get my legs ready. Alright, let's go! I'm holding! I'm holding! Shit. Oh, you have to grip hold. Right, so you need to you need to hold left click whilst you're Christ. gripping to re-grip, essentially. Ooh, can I make that jump? I don't think I can. <laughs> that's, that's too far. Oh, I am meant to make this one, though. Oh. Just get across. Jesus. He's just gone from like casual br uh, bloke on rig to Nathan Drake. Ladder's fucked. Oh, I made it. Uh, leave the area. Why all of this is happening? I just everyone. I'm just going with Lecky. Just Lecky. Well, this has all of a sudden got uh, <coughs> horror vibes. Ooh, I'm getting soma flashbacks from this. Dark, eerie metal framework with the sounds of water outside. Mm, no, no. Fuck off, I don't want to listen to you. <laughs> Minor. Yep, of course it is. Jesus Christ. Has he not looked underneath it? Ooh, I can go down here. Oh. I'm going to be mesmerised every time I see the little purple uh, glowy thing now. Oh, fuck. I know it's a game, but every time I have to put my character through this stuff, it's just... Oh, so dangerous. Shit. Oh, hang on, what? Something about climbing walls? I'm guessing it's I can shimmy across, right? Yeah. What? That genuinely just scared me. This thing's swaying past there. I thought there was a creature climbing on the other side of the pipes. So this is where I am now. <laughs> my thoughts, exactly. Well, it looks like you're in leg C. If I can make my way out, to get to level 2, I need to get to number 5. So I can make my way through the corridors. Pass through engineering ops. No, don't go into engineering ops. Go through gas separation. Or pass through gas monitor. Easy, easy work. You know what? I'm just gonna, gonna push through. I'm not scared at all. Finally, oh, something useful. Cool. It's got a battery pack on it. Head torch. So is it gonna be lit up everywhere I look? There we go. 
It doesn't have a power, does it, though? I'd have to get more battery packs, because that'd be sad. I don't like this, though. This, this fucking light reminds me of horror films that heart like where you're going caving. Mm. I mean, no, I'm fine. I'm good. I'm good. Just have to use your torch. Already figured it out. I'm not scared. This place is lovely. This place is lovely. This is fucking awful. <laughs> oh, the sounds cut out as well. I don't know what's in this game. I don't know if there's going to be monsters. There wasn't like an attack option. Are there going to be monsters or are there going to just be weird shit? Oh, fuck you, you stupid gas leak. Where's a gun when you need one? Oh wait, we're in England. Well, Scotland. Oh, I can. <laughs> Still got my trusty screwdriver. I'm like Doctor Who, never go home without it. Leave home without it. Fucking, I need to fucking, <laughs> I can't even think. I don't want to go in there just yet. I want to try this door. Yeah, because vents aren't horrifying. Rusty components everywhere. Oh, Jesus. Is that blood? Oh. You can throw stuff. Wait, that means I'm going to have to distract monsters. Fuck you, game. <sighs> Wait. Did I just throw it through the door? It did. Just clear it. Guys, over here. Jesus, Finley. You all right? You look like you've seen a ghost. Who's making that noise? Gibble. He's making that racket. Should we not find him? Help him? No. I not recommend that. What does that mean? It means he's not alright. After that explosion, he got oil or some shit on him and just... I don't know. He freaked out. Went for me. He's still out there. You mean out here? As in out here with me? Aye. That's exactly what I mean. Oh, that's just fucking brilliant. You seen anyone else? Why don't you climb through the gap? Where are you going anyway? Back to accommodation. Listen, you'll have to get through the water tanks to get up to accommodation. And quiet like. Gotta go all the way up there. Jesus. And what about Gibble? Stay the fuck away from him. You're listening to me. He's no right, cuz. I'm no arguing. Cuz. Be fucking careful, eh? Aye. You know. What? Why is it on me to go and explore of the fucking place where the mad guy is why can't i climb through this gap and stay in there where it's safe with you why but where are you going i've got to get to accommodation no you don't stay here i'm safe here i bet you if i stay here nothing will attack me but i could sit here for hours nothing would attack me someone else's problem it's not mine oh this this place is lit so i'd have to have my light on No! Why me? Why me? Why? Uh, the, the... <laughs> Somebody in chat redeemed something so I don't have to climb. Redeem something. <laughs> I thought everyone's made a consensus not to do that. Somebody in chat has redeemed walk forwards, which means I no longer have a choice. Uh... 
Okay, I walk forwards until I hit a, something. The rule is I have to hold W until I can't move, which is now. So I did that. What is that? This could have been a lot worse if there wasn't a wall directly in front of me. Am I supposed to be getting down to that? Yes, I am. Sides of my screen get bubbly whenever I look at that. Alright, fucking calm it. Maybe there's a secret. Secret. I don't think this game's got secrets, does it? Every game should have secrets. Didn't get jump scared. No, I don't trust you, ladder. <laughs> Fuck you, pipe. I don't... What was the ladder for? Wait, I can go down there. What? What? What's the ladder for then? Give me a ladder and not let me look. Am I going to get murdered? Is this a murder ladder? I mean, there is blood here. Oh, is it just to jump scare me? Is the ladder literally there to scare me? Just realise my lights turned on. Well, I can't see whose like name is on the hat. <laughs> yeah, that's how much I respect my colleagues. It's alright, Kaz. Don't need to worry about it. I mean, I mean, if only it stayed back there where it was safe. You're the moron who decided to carry on going. You've just been fired as well. You owe this place nothing. I mean, I know you might hold like, I mean, you might like the people. Oh, so much quieter in here. It's so nice and peaceful, isn't it? Nothing bad's going to happen now. I'm, I'm kind of on edge. With horror games, I find I'm always on edge right up until the horror starts. Because at this point, it's the unknown. And obviously, the unknown is scarier than the known. So until I find out what I'm facing and how it's going to evolve in the game... Shoo. Yeah, until I know what I'm dealing with, I'm 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 on edge. What? It's all just building tension. There's no monsters in the game. See, this is the thing with horror games, right? Horror games, when they throw loads of monsters at you, it's not scary. So what a game like this will do... Why is my eye so blurry? What a game like this does, and it's very clever, is that they don't put any monsters in at all. What they do is they just add scary noises and put in scary stuff, but they add no monsters. So I'm just making myself scared. Whereas if I run forwards now, there's nothing to worry about. Absolutely nothing. I may as well just push forwards quickly. Because why would I need to be scared when there's nothing to be scared of? Look, see? Just making a noise. Just trying to make me worried. Oh, and... Yep, no need to be scared at all. There's nobody anywhere. See, look, all this way, me worrying, nothing here. Exit to Acon, water tanks. Yeah, it's got me in. Ah, nothing. Why is it suddenly dropped from frames? Does that mean there's an animated creature here? Nope, nope, there's nothing anywhere. You've already said this, Brad. There's no monsters. It's completely no fine. Through. Nope, no way through. We have to go around. 
No, do not come at this! What the fuck is that? Use lockers to hide. Don't give me a locker and tell me to use a locker to hide if I don't need to hide right then and there. Cruel. Where am I hiding from? There's no monsters in the game. Oh, don't squeeze back through, you fucking... Where am I going? Oh, here. Maybe? Shut up and tell me where to go. Fuck. Oh, am I meant to be hiding in here? Or maybe there's a different way. Dude, I don't know where I'm going. Just keep pressing directions. Okay, this looks new. I'm trying to go away, Gibbo. Just shut the fuck up and leave. I'm trying to look. Is he following me? I don't know if the light's more obvious or not. Is he following me or? Just take it easy. Oh. <sighs> Is he even there? Is there anyone even there? I didn't see a single thing that entire time. Why, why am I opening this? Why? Is there nowhere else to go? I guess I'm trying to get through to the next bit. No, I've not really seen anything, but <laughs> I don't know what to say. Oh. No. Move, Douglas. 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 Oh, Jesus. No. You can't be. Shit. Oh, God. <laughs> Douglas is going for the swim. <laughs> Can I pick up Douglas? 
Come on, Douglas. Come on. No, what are you doing, Douglas? Let's go for the swim. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stalling because I don't want to go up the ladder. Come on. Uh, every night in my dreams, I'll see you. I feel you. <laughs> okay. Uh, bye, Douglas. We had a good time, you and I. The direction of the the weird things around the screen must be the direction whatever creatures with you is in. Which means he's over there. Where am I going? Ah! All right. All right, just stay away from me. That's all right, bro. Just stay over there. You just stay there, and we don't have to worry about it, do we? You stay. Stop fast. You just stay there. Good, weird person, Gibbo. Good boy. It's fine. No, Jesus. That's collapsed. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell your mummy will be home soon. I'm sure she'd love that. I wonder if you can even encounter him there. It felt like it was all just atmosphere. There was no actual way to run into... The actual... I mean, maybe if you went backwards, you'd run into something. Entering accommodation. Warm. Jesus. Uh, use heat just to warm up when cold. Oh, is this where it started out? It might just be another a similar room. Uh, D to turn on. After I've already clicked to interact with it, I don't think I need a button to turn it on. Stop thinking about it. Just stop thinking about it. Jesus. I don't know when I'm warm. Right. What will they tell me? <laughs> Almost timed it. Ah, oh, you know what? I'll let you stay warm while I talk to people. So, this is still Wakes the Deep? Is that what it's called? <laughs> Forgot the name of the game. I think it still Wakes the Deep. Uh, I'm very much enjoying this so far. It's, um... Yes, it got some, indeed got some, uh, some frightened moments out of me. I've also got some good laughs as well, which is perfect for a game. You want a few laughs, you want a few scary moments. Uh, if you watch this on YouTube, you'll be watching this on the week leading up to Halloween, Brad's Halloween week. This will be the first video of a week's worth of Halloween, well, just vaguely scary games content. And uh, I hope you're enjoying it. This game will be finished. It may not be finished for a few weeks yet, but... This game will be one of those ones that I will carry on with because I'm enjoying it and I want to finish it. Uh, however, for Halloween week, the, the idea is that each day I'm going to, be, going to be either starting or continuing a new or a different, should I say, a horror game. So I've got plans for like the various other days and we've also got Silent Hills on the weekends which are carrying on. So if you're enjoying this stuff, if you enjoy these scary games, let me know. So I could always play more scary games outside of uh, October. It's just that October is very much the scary game month, which is why I always switch through to playing these kind of horror games in those times. So uh, yes, let me know in the comments because I never get comments on my. I've, I do, but I rarely get comments on my videos on YouTube, and I like reading my comments. So so comments, say things, S say things. <laughs> but yeah, this is uh, this is still wakes the deep, and I'm looking forward to seeing what else still wakes in the deep. I'm so good, aren't I?